This video is on VWAP and how you can utilize this strategy to become very profitable. The VWAP, as we see on the screen, is a volume weighted average price, meaning that it is a average movement of a price with volume incorporated. Now this might sound like a moving average, it is a moving average of some sorts. However, this is more based on with respect to volume versus if you've ever heard of a VWMA, which is a volume weighted moving average, that's a little bit different as it's based more on the closing prices with respect to volume. Okay, so slightly different. Um, I do recommend using a VWAP and not a VWMA. Um, this is the calculation for a VWAP over here on the right side. It is the typical price times volume divided by the average volume um, for that session. Okay. Some good things about VWAPs is that they are, um, you know, they can be uh, leading and lagging indicators. Um, so that's, you know, that's one good thing. However, they do have some downsides, meaning that, um, you know, it's hard to compare volume from the past to current. So they do work better on the short term. However, they can be used long term as well. Um, looking at my screen right now, you can see that I went ahead and marked all the areas of this VWAP strategy that um, I do employ for buying and selling. So we would have been buying at these arrows down here and then selling up here at these red arrows up here. Um, pretty straightforward. So how do you use a VWAP? So if you're using my indicator, there are many good indicators out there that have this. But if you go to my indicator, which is free and be listed in the comments, if you scroll down, you go down to the VWAP section right here, turn on the rolling VWAP band, which is my own calculation um, that I've kind of formulated myself over a long period of time. Go ahead and uncheck only outer bands if you want to see all the bands um, and then coming in the future version, um, which should be live now, um, will be this VWAP time frame and you can anchor it to whatever time frame you want. I generally leave it on the weekly. However, depending on what time frame you want to trade, um, you can change this. So now we see our bands here. Now how you use the strategy, There's it's twofold. First fold would be anytime you have the price touch an outer band, which would be these green and red lines up here. That's when you buy and sell since those are the extremes. So I went ahead and marked them on this chart so you can see that every time we would have bought at this when it's almost touching the band or at the band, these are the extremes. So this is when you would have bought. Um, the other one would have been selling at the top band, the red band. Um, uh, pretty straightforward. Now people often use the VWAPs for different reasons. One thing that people kind of look at VWAP and they say is if it's above the VWAP, then it is bullish. And if it's below the VWAP, it is bearish. Not necessarily always true. However, it's something that I kind of use in the back of my mind to kind of get a, um, you know, some kind of estimate on the trend. The other way to use um, the VWAP bands is to look for the mean reversion or the volatility um, for a potential squeeze play. So much like, you know, um, you know, Bollinger bands or, um, you know, any other kind of uh, volatility based bands, you can use these bands very similarly so that when these bands are wide, that's when you have a lot of price movement. However, when they contract, you can expect a squeeze play to happen soon, meaning that you're going to have a breakout to the up or the down. So if we go back and we look at Bitcoin here, which I did not look at this ahead of time, so we're just going to free ball it here. So anytime you have the bands contract, let's go to the four hour and look here. When the bands contract, you do expect a breakout to happen at any time. I have these um, on the uh, weekly right now, anchored to the weekly. So you can see that these bands are very wide here as we had all this price action. And then as they get very, very narrow, that's when you expect a potential squeeze play to happen. So it would be a breakout to either the up or the down. And we eventually did have um, a, a pretty good squeeze here, but then we had a major squeeze here. And you see how the bands are very wide here. Okay. Now, once they contract and as we consolidate, that's when we have, when they get really narrow, that's when we have another squeeze happen, uh, squeeze action happen, right? So that's one way to use these. So if you look, anytime the bands get very narrow, we have a squeeze happen, right? You get really narrow here, we have a squeeze. Yeah, they get very narrow here. We have a squeeze, right? They're still very narrow. We had a squeeze up, right? And then when we came back down, we had another squeeze here where they got really narrow, squeeze down, right? So looking at what we are currently seeing right now, the bands are very contracted. So we do expect some kind of breakout to happen. Um, you know, whether it's going to be up or down. Okay. Um, now this is, there's many other good VWAP indicators on, um, on trading view. So if you just type in VWAP, Anything made by Disrupt, D-Y-S-R-U-P-T. Highly recommend checking out these or any of these ones that are listed here. Anything that has VWAP standard deviation bands um, are going to be, you know, um, good resources to use. 
Um, and that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.